Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 22nd of January after a long weekend off the markets due to an arcade day. So uh, I'm going to choose a particular setup from our stock signals service. Uh, you see on the here in our stock signals membership, 22nd is highlighted for today. And we've got potential long and potential short fifth wave trades here. Now, looking at potential longs, and we haven't had too many on the daily time frame just recently. Markets have been trying to settle down, but we've got one come up today. And I want to start to uh, build on in some of those. So swing trading off the daily time, time, time frame, remember, this could take once triggered, uh, probably up to 20 days, maybe a little longer in these types of markets to reach the target as well. So these are some medium term swings. You need to swing them for at least probably up to a month. Uh, so let's have a look at this one today. So the spreadsheet is downloaded by clicking on the image for our members there. And then looks something like this today. Obviously, just this one on the daily time frame. If we look on the 60 minute on the same spreadsheet, uh, we've got quite a few more, including Netflix. Uh, and then on the weekly, we've got a few as well. So we're starting after having to have a bit of a pullback now. Uh, we're starting to have some of those come through on our scanners. So let's have a look at the chart. So this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, Multi Charts, and Trade Station. I'm using the Think or Swim version today. As we can see, uh, I've zoomed out a little bit on BVN on the daily time frame just to show you that previous Wave Five target was hit on the short there. So if you zoom up a little bit more. We can see there was a shorter term bearish trend, wave four pullback, fifth wave hit the target. Uh, that was a great short on BVN there on the daily time frame. Since then, we've uh, gathered some momentum to the upside. We've had a really nice uh, wave one, wave two, wave three. And this is the wave four that we were interested in right now. This wave four pullback is what we're interested in right now because we want to trade the fifth wave to the upside now. So as we can see also on the multiple time frame dot cloud at the bottom here, this is part of our black box breakout indicator suite. And I've combined both of that Elliott Wave and our black box just to give me a little bit of a picture on where we are. So multiple time frame dot cloud shows us where we are in respect to our EMA cloud here on multiple time frames all the way down to monthly. As you can see now, we've gone from all red and we're coming back as we go here. We're going to green and cyan and now we came back to all green. Now the wave force pulled back um, during that time. And now we're going all green again. So it just shows you on those multiple time frames up from this daily. Uh, so two days, four days, uh, weekly, monthly, we're all going positive again. So really good uh, sign there. So let's have a look at those basic filters uh, for that scanner, for that signals membership. Why did this uh, BVN on the daily time frame appear? on our spreadsheet for our members there. So the wave four pullback is the main thing here. First of all, the pullbacks found support in our automated probability zones here, green, amber, red. So we're just tipped into the amber zone. That gives it an 80% probability. We're gonna go on and make that new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue, around about 1750. So initial support, wave four found on Friday. Uh, what a green day. So again, I'm, I'm combining uh, our black box breakout indicator. You can see we've got blue candles, gray candles, red and green. The red candles are increased volume from the previous day to the downside and green are increased can, uh, volume candles to the upside from the previous day. We can see the previous days we had gray candles, which were up candles, but with lower volume. Then we gap down and we got a green day. We got increased volume to the upside. So it's not over yet, this pullback. But what we want to do is be quite aggressive with the entry. But let's go through the rest of the filters first. So the top of the three subcharts is the 535 oscillator. During this wave four pullback, we've pulled back between 90 and 140%. You see the little red in there. We can just zoom out a little bit. You can see more. So it's crowned on the wave three. We've pulled back on the oscillator and we're between our magical 90 and 140 at the moment. So really looking good. The next is our stochastic, the middle subchart. 
uh, we've had the false breakout at the top there so that denotes a really strong bullish trend and then when the stochastic pulls back against there crosses over in the oversold zone the likelihood is it wants to go back to that main bullish trend so you can see now we're building the picture of potentially a high, you know a high probability fifth wave move it's not over yet this fourth wave we need confirmation uh, on Tuesday for that higher high higher low but what I've gone is I've gone for an aggressive entry on this uh, I've put a, a regression trend channel there between three and four it's nice and tight I like this type of wave four pullback usually our conservative entry uses the six four moving average high but I want to be aggressive so the markets are really turning bullish here uh, at the moment and I want to take advantage of this and, and, and get in earlier if I can I still want to be above our EMA cloud uh, here but but I want to be outside the regression trend channel so if I've broken this regression trend channel the likelihood is we are then on our way to that fifth wave move so an aggressive entry 1576 again out of the channel above the uh, EMA cloud uh, so the entries 1576 targets 1750 and the stop loss a couple of cents below the low of the wave force 1478 obviously if we get a slightly new low on on Tuesday we've got to then start keep adjusting our entry uh, but at this moment in time as it stands I'm making this at the weekend before I join the long weekend before the markets open on the Tuesday we've got a good entry on the daily time frame for BVN at 1576 it may be aggressive but I think we need to be start to be a little bit more aggressive with these entries on this time frame if the markets continue to go bullish okay so that's it for today have a great trading day speak to you all tomorrow